The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus departed to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When day came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. And he came down with them and stood on a stretch of level ground. A great crowd of his disciples and a large number of the people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And even those who were tormented by unclean spirits were cured. Everyone in the crowd sought to touch him because power came forth from him and healed them all. The Gospel of the Lord. Yeah, it's a great, uh, you know, preamble perhaps we, we have today when we hear uh, in the Gospel of Luke that uh, he, he came down with them and stood on a stretch of level ground. We know this is, uh, you know, what leads up to the, the Sermon on the Plain, right? It's very, very uh, similar thematically uh, to the Sermon on the Mount. Uh, so we have, that, we have that coming, we've got that coming up uh, pretty quickly. And of course, in, in anticipation of that, uh, or perhaps what, what leads directly to the Sermon on the Plain and this, this charter for Christian life that Jesus is going to, to issue, he calls 12 to himself. So just so, we under, just so we understand what all is going on, Jesus calls 12 to himself. And so he, in calling the 12, he is beginning his new Israel movement. Right? This is one of the 12 tribes of Israel. We're sent by Jesus to be about his purposes, right? How many of the 12 wanted to be in the, uh, of course, they all wanted to be in this space with Jesus, right? Because they're all, they're all coming to him. He's called his disciples. They all, want to, they all want to be apprentices under him. But how many of them, you know, coming, coming down and standing on this level, level stretch of ground with Jesus want, want to be surrounded by people who have diseases and people who, people who have um, spirits uh, that need to be cast out from them? How many of them would choose that life for themselves? I don't spend time being gathered always around people with diseases and unclean spirits and the rest. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. But what I do know is that Jesus has called them, right? He has set them apart for, for God's purposes, and he is, he is sending them. He's going to send them, and this is part of the being sent. It's, it's not living for themselves any longer, but living for Jesus and going where he sends them. That's it. <laughs> That's the, that's the sum total of their life now. And that also has to be the sum total of our life. We have to see ourselves as called by Jesus, as sent by Jesus, right? Everything, everything we have and everything we are is His. We give it back to Him. We pledge ourselves to Him. We want to live in allegiance to Jesus, which means that we have to be attentive and aware of, of His prompting, His Spirit in our, in our lives. We have to see where he's moving and all the rest, and then where he is moving us to say, to say yes and go, we go. We go. We say yes to him, and we go. And part of this then new Israel movement, this, this great healing movement, is being unleashed in us as well as we are called to Jesus, as we're, as we're healed and made whole by him, as we're sent out to bring healing and wholeness to God's creation. And it, it may, it, that, might, that might sound like, oh, you know, it's that's a, bit too, that's a bit too far off, right? That's, I mean, what, how, can, how, can I, how can I make that so? That's not, that's not our concern. That's not our concern. Our only concern is to hear and heed the call of God on our lives. It's to hear and heed Jesus' call to trust and follow Him no matter where He sends us, to bring God's love to life, to everyone we encounter, and bring healing and hope and restoration to every corner of God's creation.